Welcome home, Red Pack. Marcus here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, the show where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, all the way to the modern day. And I'm also trying to create the world's biggest SpongeBob. The world's biggest Nickelodeon. Ow. Oh, why is it when it's cold? Everything hurts more. But not just that. The founder, CEO, and creator of this channel and show made her debut appearance in the episode of SpongeBob, Help Wanted. Please, please. But I hope you beautiful people are having an amazing day, and if you guys are, you know the drill. Comfort Cartoons, mail time! Camera flip. Hey folks, viewer mail time again. Today is gonna be an incredible day because we are gonna be opening up some mail sent in by you beautiful people. So today we have two giant packages that were sent in by David Montiel and also by Annalie Gagne. I hope I got your guys' names right. I didn't mess it up too bad, but thank you guys so much. So both these boxes were sent in from them by members of the Rep Pack. And whenever we do these fan mail videos, they are made possible because of people just like you watching this show. So thank you so much for sending this in. If you guys ever want to send anything in for us to check out, the address is on screen. But make sure you show some love to them because there is no way we could do these videos without them. These videos are able to make so many people happy and brighten a lot of people's day. And I'm so grateful to be a part of that process, but I couldn't even do it if it wasn't for the people that are part of this fan mail series. So thank you guys so much again to David and Anna Lee. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. These are some big boxes, so we got to check it all out. And of course, if you guys don't know already, when we do these fan mail videos, anything that we add to the the collection gets a label on the back of it with the person's name just like this so they can live forever commemorated in the caverns that way whenever we pick up any of these items we know exactly who sent it like this one thank you so much Tiffany so let's sit on down and check it all out so I'm gonna start off with these because I think this is super unique I've never seen this before either check them out man <laughs> scooby-doo ziplocs hey. but not just that we have some Cartoon Network ziplocs what like Warner Brothers like barely makes any product but at some point in time they were like you know what we haven't done yet or at all or anything ziplocs <laughs> yeah, let's make ziplocs a thing but i'm not sure if like there are stickers or are they on the actual ziplocs did any of you guys have these growing up i don't think i had any like cartoon or any themed related ziplocs no my mom bought like the cheapest box you could get <laughs> yeah, mine were themed great value yeah <laughs> but dude that is so sick we have nigel on there the powerpuff girls dexter the scooby ones look like they're open so we can actually kind of take a little peek here oh that is is so clean, dude. Oh, so they're like printed on there. Yeah, man. If I would have had these in school days, that would have been so sick. You have your sandwich in there that's probably been flattened by your backpack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> your chips that are all crumbs because you dropped one of your textbooks on it. But you know what? You pull it out and you see Scooby on it. Oh, that is so satisfying. That is sweet. I mean, we gotta get a couple of these out of here. We got the we got all the designs out there. We got Shaggy and Scooby right there on these ones. The Cartoon Network logo. And then we have, I told you that's a classic skateboard. Every nine a show or kid had a skateboard with a lightning zap on the bottom of it. But a beautiful set there. So that's the whole artwork set right there so you guys can take a look at it. And these are sealed. So I'm going to keep those closed. But I mean, you can kind of get a little peek there at what they would look like. Have you guys had any of those growing up? Any themed ones? Let me know in the comments. Next up, we have Sponge Guard on duty, which Ooh. I don't know if I have this VHS. It's gonna be hard to find out. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to find out, exactly. I may or may not, but either way, this is freaking sick. A clean copy right there, and they were kind, and they did rewind, well, partially. They got to pressure. This is the episode where Sandy's trying to like, prove to everybody the Krusty Krab that land critters are just as good as sea critters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All critters are good critters. <laughs> That's an awesome VHS there. Thank you so much. Ooh. Ooh, a new cologne. Ooh. A brand new cologne to the collection. I've actually <laughs> been trying to get these. There's a whole set of these. We'll pop them on screen right now. I have, I think we moved some of them out of here, but we have these three right here, these colognes. And I may have the green label one still up somewhere back there. Blue. Sound effects provided by um, Tom Kenny. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> Should have been way cooler otherwise. <laughs> but what do you think this Squidward smells like? I was just about to find out. So this was that Squidward back there. He smells like a spicy young man. But the original one kind of smells kind of sweet. You know what? I've always wanted these bottles. I never knew they were glass. I thought these were always plastic. That's a hard glass bottle there. It's got Squidward doing his thing right there. Let's pop open this little pineapple top. Let's get a little spray here. <laughs> All right, we got a little spray there. No, do you guys smell my wrist? You gotta get my potency along with it. 
<laughs> Go ahead. Wow, it's kind of similar in a way. This, I think this might be one of the better smelling ones. It's smooth. It smells more mature than the other ones, yeah. I think what it is is that one smells like a cologne that's trying to get a signature scent. The other one smells very fruity and kind of like a kid's cologne. This one just smells clean. It smells almost like a, <laughs> like I, I almost you could always go to like a business interview or something with yeah, that on. <laughs> it's really simple, it's subtle, and it smells clean. Almost like uh, you just got out of the shower using some uh, some Irish Spring. I guess it's just their take on what Squidward might smell like. I don't know. I love their take. All right, so there's a look at the packaging there. We just a close up for it though, but that is amazing. I, I definitely there's a couple other colognes for SpongeBob too. Older ones, newer ones. I'd love to get in the collection, but nice to add this one. The Squidward doing the thing cologne. Oh, dude, do you remember this? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my freaking four-year-old kindergarten me goodness. Oh, now that is a nostalgia wave, dude. The Pokemon battle coin game. Let's open it up. Bro, Ooh, there's a bunch in I there. I see a Tangela. Oh, Venona and a Poliwrath. I remember having that one as a kid. That is dope. Okay, so who are you picking? We're gonna play this game, man. We're gonna oh, play this game, buddy. It's like in a CD case. Oh, that's clean, dude. It shows you all the different stats and how to use Ooh, it and stuff. You're gonna take those out. Heck yeah, it's already, it's, it's open. I can pop these out. Boom, there you go. Well, now it's for sure unsealed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll take Venonat. Venonat. Okay, okay, well then if you're gonna get Venonat, I guess I'm gonna go with Poliwrath. Even, yeah, you're not, you're not grass. <laughs> I'm Bug. So how you do it, from what I remember, is you spin the coin and whatever damage it lands on, that's what you actually get. Three, two, three, <laughs> three, two, one. All right, oh, that was a terrible spin. What does Pokeball mean? Pokeball means you caught my Pokemon. Yeah, you collect the other coin. I win! No, it's best two out of three, they said. Somewhere, <laughs> give me these rules. Just set that somewhere. Best two out of three, let's do it again. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we tied. Tied, so that means one more, 40. What is green? It means nothing. <laughs> All right, so that means we tied. That was an instant, an instant shot of dopamine, of nostalgia. That is insane. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is the what? Lush collab. So we have, wait, there's two in here. This is the Lush collab there's for the two? Krabby Patty. Yeah. <laughs> we tried to do this stuff for the Lush collab, but then when we went, they didn't have any of it. It was all sold out, but we have the Krabby Patty for the Lush collab. It is closed. So I'm going to keep it closed, but I would love to see what Ooh, that Krabby Patty looks like. I see a little crusty crab, like, you know, one of those, like, the paper wraps they put on burgers. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is dope. It smells incredible. Get a little whiff of that crack. <laughs> wow. To tell you what it is? I don't know, but it smells delicious. It's like floral. And then it has these, I don't even want to open these because I know I won't be able to get them in that same shape. <laughs> uh, of course he's doing it. Yeah, I mean, it was good we're doing the thing on his own, like, I think this is a, like a washcloth rag or something yeah and then we have squidward spongebob and also patrick i don't know why i thought this was plankton actually but it, it does actually, look like plankton yeah, yeah it's squidward <laughs> thank you so much at least we get to add some stuff from the lush collab into the collection that's amazing oh look who's using the lush <laughs> <laughs> we got squidward using said lush products man can't even take a bath in peace he gets a jellyfish in his bathtub <laughs> We have the jelly fishing SpongeBob right here, where you, it's actually like a pullback. That's so cool. <laughs> With the little rev, it's super satisfying. This one, like the, the trigger on it, is just so like. Hear that? Oh, pull it back and boom! And it has a little jellyfish field sign there, adorable. And this also, I think, it's from that same line from 2002. They had some really good solid toys back then. Oh, he's the damn king for a reason, man. Ooh, do you know what this is from, Mitchell? Buzz, Buzz Cola. Cola. I mean, you can probably tell by the animation style. It's exactly what you think it is. Don't think too hard. Is it Ren and Stimpy? No, it's Simpsons. Oh, it is Simpsons. Okay. Yeah, so they have Duff beer, but they also have the Buzz, Buzz Cola. Cola. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so I think this is from Universal Studios, the Universal Studios Buzz Cola can. Super cool and ridiculously soft. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we have Mary Kid Ashley Sweet 16 license to drive <laughs> on the GameCube. What the heck? <laughs> Dude, I kind of feel like I need to throw this in because there's a Mary Kid and Ashley version of Mario Kart. That is, those things are terrifying though. <laughs> like, I wonder if, like, in this era, could I, like, sh shoot a, a red shell at Melissa Joan Hart? <laughs> <laughs> or maybe I could drop a banana that'll, that'll knock out Tara Reed. Like, <laughs> who's, who are the opponents in this? I would love to know. <laughs> but yeah, Mary Kid and Ashley. Ashley, man, they were doing it at that time. Literally, from like 99, all like frick, 95 probably, all the way until like 2005, they had everything, anything and everything you could think a human being could have as a product, including a video game. Oh, we needed this guy, the squid. Hey. We needed the squid to go out there. We have the Patrick. We have the SpongeBob seal. 
We have the Patrick already up here, but we need to get these guys out of the box. I think I have the whole set sealed, but I, I need the SpongeBob out of box now. I have Squ Patrick, I have Squidward now, thanks to you guys. It still works? Some of them still work. I have arrived. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you have. <laughs> I love that. You can already see him putting his hand out. Right with the audio. Oh, <laughs> I was having Ryan get the audio bite for my for my joke, but <laughs> he said the line. Please. We have an audio bite now of the iconic. Oh, oh please. please. <laughs> <laughs> you can imagine him putting his hands out like. Oh, <laughs> These are from the green label, some of the earliest SpongeBob products to come out, being from 2001, I believe. 2000! 2000! 2000. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> I mean, this is, I'm serious. 2000! No, I got an off switch. <laughs> <laughs> but from the year 2000s, so now we just need the open SpongeBob one. I can't wait to put him over there. Oh, it's a box. Oh, snow globe. Snow globe? Oh, is it the one we just got or is it a different one? You let me know. I'm gonna close my eyes. <gasps> oh, it's a new one. Please don't be lying. I'm not lying. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, a new snow globe! Ah, oh, I'm always like- That one's adorable. SpongeBob has his eyes on the Employee of the Month award, but his belly <laughs> may have other ideas. Take home a piece of the ocean with your very own hand-sculpted SpongeBob snow globe. That is incredible. Thank you guys so much. This is amazing. I love the outside right here. It looks like the inside of the kitchen. I know. I was like looking at that bottom piece. I can't wait to see it out of the box. And you know what? My birthday is coming up on January 26th, so I'm considering this a birthday gift. Thank you guys so much. This is like my ultimate birthday gift. I love adding these SpongeBob snow globes. Like I said, I'm always hesitant on getting some of the older ones because I don't know how to replace the water and stuff like that. This one is freaking new, so I know the water is going to be clean. It's going to be good for a long time. So let's take a look here. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. You're not going to believe this. You are not going to believe this. What? This is so sweet. And even when we go here, I probably wouldn't be able to get this one because there's no way I'd be able to bring it on a plane. Nickelodeon Universe. What? This is a Nickelodeon Universe SpongeBob snow globe. That is amazing. Oh my gosh. Look at him. He's so cute. And he's got the little pyramid of Krabby Patties behind him. He's gorgeous. And then the little Krabby Patty on the top. Oh, everything about this is just perfect. And like I said, we are hopefully going to be doing something very special for 100,000 subscribers. We're about 18,000 away right now. Still a little bit. Still a little bit. But at some point, maybe we can get it to happen this year. It'd be amazing. We're going to do something cool. But yeah, we might have a, you might have a clue what it is already at the point. But <laughs> even if we do that, I don't think I would have got something like this because I would have been so worried about it flying with it, you know? Yeah, because it just you never know what TSA might do. Exactly. Or you know, just like exactly, you never know how it's gonna get treated. But being able to get in the mail, oh man, look, it's like stuff is like suspended in the air there. Is it suspended or is? It, oh, it is, yeah. Yeah. The quality on these new snow globes is just amazing. They put like some kind of glycerin in there or something that Make, makes everything float. That's so cool. <laughs> that freaking made my whole birthday. Thank you so much. That's amazing. Oh, so for the Lush, they actually have the bags for them. Oh, they are. They know oh. us well, dude. They know how I collect very, very well. They already know I'm going to archive these bags. So these are the bags you would be able to grab the, uh, the bath bombs and put them inside of these bags to take them out. So when you pay for them, you know, you oh, have them in wow. a bag already. So we have the SpongeBob bag, the Squidward bag, and the Patrick bag. And yes, I will absolutely be archiving these guys, putting them inside some sleeves. That is beautiful, dude. Oh man. Just, SpongeBob just, you know, has such a incredible aesthetic that just makes me so happy. It's so beautiful. These colors are just nice, yeah. I know, dude. Like, I want to get a flag in here. It's just these three colors. <laughs> absolutely gorgeous setup there. So yes, we will be archiving these for sure. Give me like corn dog bag vibes. Yeah, something. it's kind of like a corn dog or like some kind of uh, some kind of fair snack. That'd be sick if they had like SpongeBob like sponge cake snacks. Yeah, 2023 on there. Okay, next up, you're not gonna believe this either. That your believements will continue to be ceased. Okay, <laughs> just trying to guess what you think this is from the back. What the heck? No, they didn't. All I can think of is either like a notepad or like maybe some pens. That's your final guess? That's my final guess. Check it out! Whoa. Comfort cartoons! 
It is a Comfort Cartoons Nickelodeon Universe snow globe. Are you joking me? Are you yanking my chain? Some other third thing. That is crazy. That is unreal. Look at SpongeBob and Patrick. Oh, they're on the slime waves. It says Comfort Cartoons in the SpongeBob font. From the back, you can't even tell what it was. Let's get a little shake all the way up. Oh man, that glitter is just like, like look at it from the side, how powerful the glitter is. It's like it's like a cube of another universe just like floating here. Freaking paparazzi in there. <laughs> <laughs> so it actually has to where you can add like a photo in there. Oh, you can pop this out and add a photo. I should add a picture of Daisy in here. Just be careful. Yeah. That is amazing. Thank you guys so much. That is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. It's and like man, a little plaque. It makes, yeah, it makes me so excited to go to Nickelodeon Universe too because you don't even know like how much cool stuff they have there. Like I've seen some stuff on their website, but some stuff I've just never seen. It makes it seem like, man, they are gonna have so many cool things for us to check out. If. If, perhaps, Mayhaps. maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that is so freaking cool. Com two snow globes. Ooh, another cologne! We got the iCarly cologne! <laughs> we can smell like Jeanette McCurdy or Miranda Cosgrove, or both. <laughs> oh man, I go, I hope I smell like Freddy. <laughs> Just the one person not advertised on there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna be smelling like all types of stuff today. So the bottle of glass, this is a plastic right here. 2008 cologne, this is aged to perfection. And it's got, I, I believe that's a silhouette of Miranda Cosgrove there, or some other fill-in girl. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do this wrist. Oh, yeah, that smells good. It smells very feminine, but you know to be expected <laughs> But it smells good like I'm not a very big cologne or perfume person So like to me like they could be wearing this and this could be like some $700 cologne or iCarly cologne I wouldn't know the difference, you know <laughs> Nor can most of it I believe but I love the packaging on it The aesthetic of it is awesome and just an awesome addition to the collection Like I said, I have a pretty bigger iCarly collection building up here that I definitely got to do a video on down the line And this is definitely gonna be going in that we have a big packet of stickers here. <laughs> For a second, it looked like Danny was on Porky's <laughs> body. <laughs> We have a Reptar dressed like a Fresh Prince. Oh, do you know who this is? Oh, uh, that's Fred Fred Burger. That is Fred Fred Burger. And you know, I, I cannot, I'll be keeping some of these stickers, but I definitely am gonna be able to give these out to people on whatnot so other people here in the community can actually get some of these. Hey, it's weird having cow and chicken and then Doug. Yeah, the, <laughs> the superhero duo. Oh, you have Mordecai and Rigby as Wile E. Coyote and the Roadrunner. Oh, I love that one of Reggie just sipping his soda. <laughs> I'm surprised there's only one SpongeBob. Oh, uh, great. That, that is a cool one, one, too. They're all really sweet. What? This is amazing! What is we have that? A, this is a SpongeBob Pop Light. I've never had one of these, but I remember seeing one of these as a kid. Let's see, we gotta get some batteries in this joint. Hopefully, it just doubles. It just doubles because this is the 2000s where everything was good to us. <laughs> Not like today where they were, oh, here's the C battery. That's what they sound like battery corporate heads. <laughs> Oh, and it glows Yay. throughout it. Through the paint, it actually glows. That is amazing. Wow. I feel like I have not seen this since my childhood. Like, I don't even see this thing online. So it's definitely something you don't see every day. This is amazing. Oh, it's gonna be tough for me to pick whether to put it in the collection here or to add it to my nightstand. 2001. Wow, that is so cool. And it has like a candle effect. Oh yeah, it does like flicker. Yeah, and the table light was flickering on and off. So thank you so much for sending that in, it's beautiful. Okay, so next up we have the SpongeBob headbands. Solid game, we, me and Mitchell played this before, but it's nice to have a sealed one here. Ooh, a little baggie of treasures. Whoa. <laughs> oh, I love baggies of treasures. Oh, I see a Nick Candy logo. I see it too, okay, so we have Samurai SpongeBob. We have the SpongeBob Pop Top. Ooh, with the Chupa Chup within it. We have SpongeBob. Oh, I had this watch as a kid. I think I had the Mermaid Man version, but I pressed this button and his actual bottoms pop out That's from the watch. Sick. I had a Mermaid Man version of this as a kid. We have Kirby with some fry locks <laughs> with ketchup in him too. He's so cute. Oh, a new Gary. A new Gary! But it looks like this goes to one of the Build-A-Bob sets, where it actually goes on top of his head to actually plug in Gary. Oh man, we got the Clap the Boy Chin Wonder. This is a pencil topper, it goes on a pencil there. Then we got Tick or Talk right here. I always read his name. We have this one right here, which is the SpongeBob card set. That's adorable. <laughs> 
Let's go with the small ones out. We got, don't you eyeball me, boy. <laughs> we have the 50 cents toys right here. Not the ones of, of, of rap and get rich or die trying fame, but like 50 cents, you spend 50 cents. And you get these toys. Oh man, these are some good ones here. We have SpongeBob here. We have Squidward <laughs> right here. Oh, please. It looks like he's tiny. He's just looking up. It looks like he's about to smite you. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick, I've never seen this Patrick so glossy. We got SpongeBob nudie pants. And then we also have these Sandrell cheeks here. Oh, and then we have a sealed Easter Bunny Nick Candy SpongeBob. And let's see, I have these in the collection, but is the Easter one sealed? So I do have this one in the collection, but what I've noticed is for these candy bag clips, there was variations of them. So you can see right here we have one pirate SpongeBob, right? Yeah, with like the uh his the eyebrows anchor down on the anchor on his hat, yeah. Yep, and the anchor. And then this pirate SpongeBob, he's got the colon crossbones. And a different face. Yep. But this one, they didn't really change the design much, but I can see some variation in just like the print quality. Like this one has the cheeks actually molded out, whereas this one doesn't have the cheeks molded out, you know what I mean? Yeah, and the red under his like lip, I guess. Yeah, yeah so like a little bit more of a painting on that one, but I like the coloring over all better on the Nick Candy one. It's more vibrant. Yeah, better paint job. Yeah. The things only the comfort cartoon community cares about, probably. Because like that's a really random thought, but for me and Mitchell and, and you guys hopefully as well, it's very important to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Patrick one is in here too. Squeeze him. No shit. <laughs> Squeeze me. <laughs> <laughs> but I think this one might be cleaner than mine. So at the end of the day, this is always about preservation, number one and most importantly. And they're both from 2002, but mine has a little scratch on his eye right there. Some scratching down here on the paint and also a little scrape right here on the pants. This one's actually cleaner than mine. So this may replace my version in the collection here. Yeah, we heard you. <laughs> but this one is really, really cool too. But at the end of the day, like I said, what we're doing all this for is so the preservation aspect of it. So I'm always going to swap out the ones that are the best shape to be the ones that go in the collection. I think that one might be it. All right, next up we have some ephemera. We have some SpongeBob Camp Coral stickers. And then we have some, I think these might be, oh, it's pineapple era. 2021 stickers here. We got a little Squidward doing the thing. Squidward, Squidward's house. You know, stone face killer like his house is. We got, <laughs> shout out to the Lord. We have Mr. Larry the Lobster here. We also have puffy stickers. And then a new, I don't think we have this one, a new jumbo coloring book. And we may or may not have this one, the Rugrats activity and coloring book. I always love these like classic disguise glasses. Watch, Ryan's gonna edit some on me. What the, who, who the heck are you? Where did Marcus go? Ooh. Oh, me? Yeah, get, get out of here, this ain't your place. It's my place now. Ooh wee, we have some new spin pops. So the batteries may be dead or they could just not work. But you guys know I did a whole video on kind of reviving spin pops and most of the time they usually do work. They just have to have their batteries replaced. So we need to get some new popsicles for it for sure, but they may still be working condition if we get the batteries out soon enough. So we have the Tommy right here and also the Chucky. And you can see, I think we have one right here, the Angelica one from the same series. You see? Oh yeah. So now we have the actual Chucky and Tommy to go with it. Typically they're a little bit of a smaller form like here's the auto rocket one right here. But let's go ahead and uh, pop these guys open and see if we can get them running. Biggest issue you run into is if the batteries popped. And it looks like this one is clean. And as usual, where the hell do you get these weird batteries? Extra heavy duty. Why can't you just be do something that the rest of us know about? And I know everybody's like, oh, well, this usually manufacture batteries. Not everybody's gonna use Duracell or like, or Energizer. But my thing is whether they're manufactured batteries or not, why can you not find these anywhere? You only see <laughs> these in product, <laughs> these weird batteries. You know what, dude? I'm gonna start a stupid collection of random <laughs> batteries that come out of products, but eventually they'll pop. So that's not a good idea. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and redact that whole statement. But you know what? I wish I could have. Let's put a real battery in here. Like this one I got at the Dollar Tree. Still not name brand. <laughs> but at least you've heard of it. E circuit. All right, what are you calling it? 50-50 chance usually they work. What do you think? I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna say it works because it's so clean on the inside. This is basically a Five Nights at Freddy on a stick. Hey! hey! There we go. So you can see he still does sip his bottle going up to his mouth. He's got a couple marks on his face and a little bit of cleaning up to do, but I can definitely make that happen. But the fact that he still works is huge. That is 1998, dude. That is over 25 year old gear system inside of there still running today. Man, cars don't even last that long sometimes. True. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's check out Chucky. Let's see if he's rusty. 
Yeah! So he is still working. Kind of looks like he's trying to pull his jaw off. Yeah. But at the same time, I think that, that they were just going for a shivering effect. It may have worked faster back in the day, too. There it goes. There you go. It's kind of moving a little faster now. So still today, they are working. That is awesome. And that's why if you ever get these spin pops, you know, it, it, nobody wants to open a sealed product. But at the end of the day, you don't want them to get broken. That's even worse. So just pop open that seal on the bottom and just take the battery out before it explodes. Because there's not a lot of space in there. Once that thing pops, you might take your whole house with it. Next up, this is an original container for uh, Gak. <laughs> so Gak was an old, like, uh, and Nickelodeon had a lot of like strange personalized items. And that's why me and Mitchell were talking about in the car on another video we were doing. We are talking about like Cartoon Network versus Nickelodeon that like Cartoon Network had a lot of really good shows, but for some reason Nickelodeon seemed to kind of like be more solidified with the era of the 90s, early 2000s. And I think it's stuff like this, like Nickelodeon as a brand has always been more vocal. Like, you know, they had phones, they had radios, they had a freaking studio you could go to in Universal Studios, you know? Like they had so many cool things going on as a brand for making their own products that not only do you think about the shows of Nickelodeon, you think about the entire like brand synergy that was Nickelodeon. And it's such an impact that it affected an entire generation and it's something many people hold dear in their childhood. Like of course me. So really cool seeing that original GAC container. And it's like, as a kid, now you see some crazy stuff out there all the time, but they're all kind of running off the hills of some of the stuff that that Nickelodeon did like you know you saw your parents buy these little Tupperware containers with like candles or you know maybe uh, some kind of hair product in it but then when you see this one kind of just melting on the shelf you know that's for you as a kid you know You're like ooh, what's that it looks like slime <laughs> yeah and it's like with the product in there exactly it looked like slime melting onto the shelf just a beautiful design there uh, oh so we have another container here of Nickelodeon slime ooh. this is the newer slime though here but it's still pretty old 2019 this is the orange slime though the cool of all of the slimes. Changes color in your hand. To, to yellow, yeah, it changes to yellow as, you, as you, in your hand. I'm not gonna open this guy though, that's too cool. From Crazy Art. The coolest color company. Next up, we have the Nicktoons Noodlers here. So these actually were something that they sold with the Nick Zone books. Or I think they may have been something they got for free, but they're just basically these like trivia cards for different Nickelodeon shows within the Nick Zone series. Got a handful of toys here. We have the SpongeBob Rubik's Cube here, unsolved. So I'm gonna have to figure that out later. We have the Patrick who usually is out of batteries. Yeah, always. Yeah, they, they pretty much ran dry. But this is the Patrick, and he actually has an engine that can usually make him run. But this is from the SpongeBob movie. We have the Helga here, which is from, I I wanna say Burger King, maybe make the, oh, look at that, handles, man. She got such good handles, she didn't even touch the ball. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, though. That is an awesome one. I don't have this in the collection, so I'll definitely be adding a Helga back here. We have this bendable figure, I believe, of Spike here. When you lose your family on a deserted island. <laughs> 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 that is sick. I feel like maybe there's supposed to be a Tommy that like went on top of it like this. That makes sense. <laughs> but it's bendable figure of, of Spike there. We have a Sailor Moon uh, New York Comic Con 1 of 1500 fig pin. That is sick. We have a new SpongeBob. Oh my goodness. <laughs> a, it's mini a mini one. version of it. Yeah. yeah. The, the Thai Beanie Balls for SpongeBob. We have the big version of this. But we did not have this little mini version. Let's do it. Does he fit through the hoop just as well? Probably a lot better than that one did, to be honest. Yeah. Boom, there we go, it works. <laughs> Thank you so much. He's so cute with his little feet down here. Yeah. I kind of prefer this to those pill pod pills, you know? Oh, absolutely. The pill pills are cute, but this is way cooler. And they have some weight to them too, so he always will land on his bum. It's like a little cannonball. <laughs> yeah. Next up, we have oh, the poster. Nickelodeon poster, which we actually have the full collage back there in the room. So I actually don't have the other side of those posters. So that's kind of good because I can have the other side of the posters. <laughs> so I use all of mine to make that display back there. We have some of the mini SpongeBob figures. I know I'm gonna be giving those out to people on a whatnot. Those are really, really cute. We have Pirate SpongeBob here. Hey, the SpongeBob Whoa. DS, DSi, and 3DS. They were like, man, this is multi platform, baby. I need me one of these. <laughs> it comes with a car charger. You remember this freaking car chargers, dude? Oh, I, I, I made sure I had those every time I went on a trip. <laughs> I, I feel like I've, I always got them and I never had them when I needed them. Like, they're <laughs> always gone. That's just like so me though, right? <laughs> we have the headphones right here. We have the 
a styli. This isn't a retractable stylus. This one goes in your DS. And then we have some cartridge protectors along with the cover there. That is just sick. There's 10 and 1. Dang. I this is 2011. So this is yellow label era all day. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, what the? Oh. No way. These are Good Burger 2 hats. Hats? These are the actual like hats that they wear in the sh in the movie. So we have two of the Good Burger hats here. It looks like you could probably pop this open. I want to do one, but it's kind of tough and I don't want to damage the hat because it's not easy to pop it out. But nonetheless, that is incredible. Thank you so much. I'm loving all this Good Burger 2 merch, you know, to kind of really capture this, this moment, you know? If we would have had these when we did the video, we'd have been wearing these guys when we ate our yeah. Good Burgers. Oh, yes. Oh no. <laughs> yes, baby. We got the pineapple specs. You know, whenever I was a kid, I always used to watch the uh, the New York ball drop, right? Yeah. And they would always have those glasses that said like, oh, 2012, and it'd be like the two, like an O, and then like the 12, the one would be like somehow opened to have an <laughs> eyeball, and it would be like 2012. I always wanted those, but you know what? Screw them damn glasses. This is way cooler, the pineapple specs. <laughs> Who sees through a pineapple in the Southern California area, Mark is, Joe does. <laughs> <laughs> This is sick. Oh, man. Oh, and they say American Dream on the side there. Like, what if they're not even SpongeBob glasses? They just happen to be pineapple glasses? That's possible. <laughs> but the fact that this is American Dream all makes me think that they're probably SpongeBob themed. I'm gonna need to bring these glasses with me. Vacation mode, party time. <laughs> these are sick. Thank you so much. No one can resist. No one can stop the cold hard steel of SpongeBob. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> we have the jumbo size SpongeBob spatula. This actually goes with the SpongeBob costume, I believe. So this is sweet. We have one up there that I've been saying for a while I want to get it spray painted in gold. So we have a gold spatula. But now that we have three of them, I mean, maybe we could. What if we got another one and we could make the uh, hydrodynamic uh, yeah. <laughs> spatula? I don't know. Is there some of the other spatula variations? We could do something with this one too. Ooh. Ooh, a Toys R Us American Dream Mall bag! <laughs> that is amazing. Nobody in California has this. Yeah, probably not, <laughs> yeah. That is a sick bag. I love, oh man, Toys R Us's aesthetic is just so, just instantly nostalgic. This just throws me back so far. I'm a Toys R Us kid. You know the song? I really don't really remember it. I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. Mitchell. Is that it? I think that's the end of it. There might be an extended version that was released on like an album or something, but from what I recall <laughs> from the commercial, that was it. You know, they always do that. You do listen to the Pokemon theme song or something else, and you go online, you're like, wow, this song is like three minutes actually. <laughs> but that is an awesome pickup right there, and thank you so much. The Mario, this is from uh, Nintendo New York, a Mario bag there. We have a All That album, one of the greatest soundtracks ever. Look at that list, man. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. Like, that is just Faith Evans, you got TLC, Brandy, just bangers all across the board. Like, why can't shows have albums, like music like that these days, man? I think they have some good songs, but that's just like on network, off network, banger songs. We got Squidward doing the thing as a head! What? <laughs> and you know! You absolutely know that they instructed that kid to put his arms at his side. Yeah, true. They literally forced this kid to do the thing. <laughs> I like the plankton one too. <laughs> the plankton one is sick, but he doesn't look that evil. She looks like that, yeah, that's SpongeBob energy for sure. He should have something more. I mean, yeah, cool. <laughs> Squidward, he should look way less impressed by this whole product. <laughs> it's kind of like a, really? They got me out here with this Squidward head. <laughs> I believe we have one of these, maybe? Like, part of it wants me to open this up so you can just put this on, but I, I don't know for sure if I have the Squidward one, so that is really sick, though. Thank you so much. They're called sponge heads. Now do the sponge, sponge. <laughs> now do the sponge. Do the sponge if you do. I'm the, the definition of a sponge head. <laughs> I mean that because I like SpongeBob, not because my thoughts are soft and absorbent, okay? <laughs> We have a really cool, this is a Eevee wearing Pikachu. That's so cute. <laughs> that is so cute. He even has her paws down there, the wow. detail. That is so cute. I'm trying to see if Eevee's ears are in there too. Yes, they are. There they are. <laughs> That's so cute. 
Yeah, I'm trying to tuck it down so you can get a better shot of it. There we go. Aww. <laughs> I feel like she stole Mimikyu's outfit. <laughs> that is so sweet. Okay, and then next up here, we have, ooh, a giant size bold and brash. I actually have a mini bold and brash in my living room, but maybe I need to upgrade to a bigger bold and brash. Bold and brasher. <laughs> <laughs> Along with that, we have a TMNT. Looks like maybe a, oh, cinema exclusive. Comic book. I did not get this one. I went to the, the cinema. I didn't get no exclusives. That is sick. That is definitely getting archived for sure. One of the coolest eras to be around in right now is this Mutant Mayhem era. We're getting so much cool product for TMNT. Ooh, what these is that? Nick's Expression stickers. What are their Nick Zone stickers? What the heck? Nick Zone stickers? Wow. I've never seen these before in my life. My life. Or my previous life <laughs> as a goldfish. It was a very quick one. <laughs> <laughs> but I've never seen these stickers before. That is a new piece to add to the Nick Zone collection. That is cool. I wonder what these came in. Maybe that presume. Some people theorize, speculate, allege that the Nick Zone books came inside of a giant lunchbox. We have the Nick Zone lunchbox. They don't fit inside of that. That you can see on the side there, that little chain. That's the noodlers right there. But I've never seen this before. If this alleged Nick Zone box bag bundle existed, perhaps this is what came in it. Comes again. I'm so interested. I, like, I wonder if someone has a sealed box or not. I don't know. Like I, I've only seen the books individually. They all have different barcodes on them. Do they? I've never looked to see if they have a bar. If they don't have a barcode. They could have come in a set. I've never looked. You guys always see me in these videos make these realizations and we get to learn all this stuff together. Let me grab said Nick book. No. No barcode? They have no barcode. So, so they that have means to be a set. You had to have bought them in a complete set. So they had to be all together in some kind of scannable product. Wow. Whoa. So now there's a bigger mystery to be solved. <laughs> this continues to develop over the last two years. Wow. Thank you for sending us that clue. We're like Scooby-Doo of Nickelodeon. Obviously, shout out to Patriot for sending our checklist here. We have the complete Nick Zone book set. We have the lunchbox. We have the noodles. We are trying to get anything and everything Nick Zone. These stickers are a part of that and will be archived as such. But if you happen to be one of the few lucky individuals that got this Nick Zone set, let us know. And don't, you know, don't, if, if it happens to be in a lunchbox, then go ahead and say that if it's true. But if, it, if you're just saying that because that's what I said, somebody else said, then that doesn't help us. <laughs> so if you got this set as a kid, let us know, did it come in a container? Was it all saran wrapped in some kind of packaging? A box set perhaps? Let us know, cause I very interested. Cause that'd be, you know, that'd be insane too. If there's like this, you know, outer cardboard box set that it that's what I'm pushed thinking. into it. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm thinking is like one of those, uh, those complete set boxes that you get with manga. So that's like another thing you have to do is go find is the thing to hold all the books. You know, that's what keeps me going, man, is things that I need to find. <laughs> <laughs> if I ever found all of them, then that would just be no fun. So that is a new clue to the Nick Zone mystery. All right. Oh, boy, what is this? A oh. frame? Oh, that is amazing. That looks so yummy. Oh, yeah. Cartoon pizza is the best pizza. We have Especially the TMNT pizza. <laughs> TMNT limited edition 2023 poster. So this may have been something they handed out at Comic-Con. I'm not 100% sure. But thank you so much for taking the time to add a frame on it to protect and preserve it. That is perfect. Oh, man. Does that look good? So cheesy, melty. They got some audacity to put their thumb straight on the cheese like straight <laughs> on the meat like i never grabbed a pizza like that in my life you no, know it's like I mean? it's like holding like the bread underneath your fingers and that's it <laughs> they grabbed that right on the meat i guess they're turtles like, we live in the sewer buddy you think cleanliness is our like top tier priority nope <laughs> i sleep where your toilet ends up <laughs> That is amazing. It's kind of true though for all the cartoons. They like grab underneath the slice and then their thumb just goes into the rice. And they're like, oh, that cheese stretches out all the way down to back to Italy. Yeah. <laughs> that is crazy. This is our first box still, man. No, we run out of space. <laughs> oh my gosh. They put Patrick's secret box in here. What is that? Box of secrets. <laughs> <laughs> is this an actual magic kit in here? Or is or there a secret something else picture in it? of SpongeBob in an embarrassing Christmas photo? <laughs> There's an actual magic kit in here. What the heck? <laughs> All right, you ready for this? Oh, I'm ready. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. I'm gonna shrink this right in front of you. Whoa! <laughs> and now it's disappeared. <laughs> Notice how that just is gone now. Definitely didn't see ignore it that, fall. Ignore that patter you heard on the floor. <laughs> oh yeah. 
Come see my show live. Lost whatnot. Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then finally, there's actually a note, but it's in the bottom of the bag, so I didn't get a chance to read it earlier. Let's take a look, and thank you so much for sending this in. I, I love getting the letters. So let's go, I'm gonna go ahead and read it real quick here. So it says, we've been huge fans of your channel this past year. You bring huge delight to our day when you post a new video online, and the nostalgia that you bring makes our daily stress go away. Well, I am so grateful for that, and that's truly what I try to do with every single video that we put out, is to at least make you smile, as I always say, or you know hopefully just give you a little bit of a break from the day all the craziness out there in the world and just have this little escape that I have here with you guys in the cavern and for me it's the same thing we film these videos I feel like I'm in another world just me you guys my friends being able to have an amazing time so thank you so much for saying that it really means a lot to me they said that we may have some of the items in the box which is totally okay and that you know with us getting so much of all the time it happens but certain you'll still be happy to see them and be able to get them to another sponge Bob fan and absolutely whenever we have the extras on here they go on whatnot and we even give a lot of them away and all goes right back into the channel to where we can use and make the videos that we do and I mean also even if we have it sometimes if it's something that we have but it's like in better shape it always ends up working in our favor too to be able to get a better shape one to preserve in the collection like for example your Patrick that you sent in so thank you so much for being so sweet and appreciate you guys more than you know seriously you guys always say that the videos make your day but really honestly I feel just lucky to be able to have the opportunity to be able to have any impact on your guys's life in that regard and the world is a crazy place to navigate but I'm really grateful to be able to have this community and that you guys have this community as well to be able to kind of get a break from that stuff so thank you so much on that note that is the end of that box thank you so much much love to you and thank you we have one more box here box number two let's go ahead and check it out we're gonna clear the table though here so we have some space and of course, I gotta start labeling this stuff up. If I lift this up with one hand, you have to say, Marcus, you're the world's strongest man. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Well, I'm not gonna do that, though. It's just, <laughs> no, there's no gain for me to do this, okay? There's no outdunning yourself, and there's no... Sugar. Okay, you have to say, Marcus, you've outdone yourself. No, I'm not doing that either. <laughs> Somebody in the comments, for myself and Steve, say, Marcus, you've done yourself. At least. Maybe not outdone myself, but have done myself. <laughs> or outdone myself, if possible. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look here. Hey, what the heck? This is another box of the Cartoon Network Ziplocs. Hey. <laughs> 30 fun bags. I got 60 fun bags. I was gonna say, it's, well, you technically have 90. <laughs> yeah, true. Okay, so let's look at some Nick boxes here. We have a big giant Nick box there. Wow. That's a big, why I feel like I'd never seen one that big before. <laughs> That's a big Nick box. That's the picnic box. And this Hey Arnold satchel. Ooh. Oh, man. That's a loaded. <laughs> loaded indeed. This thing looks like it's carrying a bunch of friggin' slime blasters. <laughs> <laughs> no additional notes in this one that I can see. Maybe they're inside. Why you say it like that? Though? Maybe they're inside. Inside. Maybe they're inside. <laughs> Those... I had to be Draco for a boy. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay. Something green. Oh my goodness, there's a bunch of goodies in here. Okay, so it seems like some of this is some, some Nick Box stuff, but there's some variety stuff in here too. So first off, we don't have this, the Dora the Explorer plug and play. <laughs> that is cool. <laughs> I'll play with the map all day. That is sick that he's the actual joystick. And what's really good is usually these things are always missing their battery cap there. So we have the Dora plug and play. That is sick as heck, man. Beautiful piece there. Okay, and then we have some Nick book stuff. Oh, okay, so it looks like, unfortunately, the satchel was not the perfect protector. We have some stuff that did get broken, so I'm so sorry about that. It looks like Gur here did get broken a little bit. I just want to get the broken out because I don't want anything to get damaged here. It looks like there was a cup in here too, Aww. unfortunately, but no big deal at all. We have the Rugrats cup that did get shattered there. But, okay, so this is some Nick Box stuff. Let's go ahead and go through it real quick. We have the, <laughs> the powdered, toast. powdered Toast Man there. We have Powdered Toast Man there. We have the TMNT container. Ooh, can always use more socks. <laughs> you have the beaver. angry beaver socks there. We have the, I believe this is gonna be a, I don't wanna pop this one open, but I'm pretty sure this is a Ren and Stimpy. Now let's open it. So popping this open, I think it's a blanket. Oh, and it's one of the old school Nickelodeon bumper blankets. Oh, it's a towel. Yeah, there we go. Oh, wait a minute, yeah. 
This is a towel. There you go. This is the bumper of the dinosaurs there. That's cool. That is sick. Always use a good towel. Heck yeah. Ooh, the rules book. Oh, and it's sealed. Yes, a sealed version of the rules book. I have one that I got in my Nick box, but this one I'm going to be preserving just like that. The sealed official the rules notebook. We also have a Reggie Rocket here figure. We have these jumbo sized Double Dare coasters. We have all the Tommy and Chucky acrylic standee. I think Angelica goes on this one if I remember the stand correctly, but I don't see Angelica in here, so maybe not. Ooh, this one I've been looking for actually oh, since that's... I opened mine. The Rocco's Modern Life <laughs> Suckomatic. That's sick. Yeah, I have one that I have mine open, but I only got one of each of those Nick boxes. So I laid it on the line, I started getting doubles of them because I just knew that some of them I wanted to have preserved. So I have some of the Nick boxes still sealed, but this one I do not have in the box like this, and that is the Rocco's Modern Life Mini Desk Vacuum, AKA suck o -matic. That is clean. We have the Legends of the Hidden Temple container right here. I think maybe there was a metal in there at some point, but the container is still sick. We have a Gur plushie, adorable. The biggest tag ever. <laughs> the tag is like as big as him. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have the Wild Thornberries mug here. This one, it got a little scraped up here, but it looks like no breakage though, which is, is still solid. And then of course, we have the container itself, which is the Hey Arnold bag here. Okay, so let's open up the box now. Ooh. Ooh. So we have some more Nick Zone stuff in here. We have the Chokey Chicken shirt the here. The shirt that messes with the camera. <laughs> yeah, this shirt, literally this shirt, watch. Like if I'm like on the air, like, he's so orange. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wear this shirt on the channel just because of the fact that it messes with the camera like, for some he's reason. So I don't know why it does this, but this shirt is still sick here. It just makes me like it was such like an employee vibe, you know, like you're working there. Yeah, I have no clue why it does it, but that yeah, it's literally an employee like <laughs> just keeps doing choky it. chicken shirt. <laughs> Markets will forever be orange now. <laughs> All right, am I back to normal yet? <laughs> nope. De orange me. There we go, that's better. All right, <laughs> we also have some Rugrats stickers here. We have awesome Rugrats mug there. Oh, okay, this one I'm super hyped is in here. We have the Hey Arnold here. So I took mine out of the box. So if you have this figure, do not take it out of the box because the Hey Arnold inside of there, the, the umbrella is so heavy that eventually his weight goes like this and the Arnold bends. So mine is like bent out of shape and you cannot get him to go back. So the fact that this one's still in the box kind of preserves him in that way so I'm so glad that's in there I will definitely be keeping that guy in his box unlike my last one we have Helga here it looks like she got her head popped off here unfortunately but I think probably gonna fix that there you go <laughs> snapped right back on there we have a tapestry for Ren and Stimpy we have a legend of the hidden temple straw and that's kind of that's what I thought this goes to that stand we had I was like I didn't see Angelica in there but I'm pretty sure she goes in that there we go this is the stand for the Angelica there uh, one, one of the, the cool, sickest, yeah, yeah, one of the dopest figures that they ever released during the Nick Box. R.I.P. the Nick Box that is now discontinued, but was one of the greatest products of Nickelodeon history. And that's, I love that statue so much. We have Chucky here eating his Reptar bar. We have Rocco here doing a little travel in here. We also have Heifer as well. His trick-or-treating trick heifer. Ooh, a Hey Arnold pin. This is actually a photo of Arnold's actual parents. Oh, okay. Yeah, until the Jungle movie, we'd only seen like memories and this photo of them. So pretty cool, uh, iconic photo there. I don't think we have this on the pin board. I have to look into it, but I don't think we have it on the pin board. So we might have to throw this guy on there too. And we have Chucky's stand, yeah, Chucky's stand. There we go. We have the standee figure of the Frankenstein Timmy. Again, another one sealed. Oh, this giant Legend of the Hidden Temples planter or like really thick container for drinking. We have a Salute Your Shorts cup right here, the, a tumbler. We have the Action League Now pop-up card there. We have the rug, oh, this is def, this is, this one is sick too. I've never got to see the cards in this. I have one sealed. Hmm. I kind of want to see what the cards look like, but what do you think? I think I'm gonna do it. I'm, I'm, I'm too curious. Though. I'm curious and I never had the opportunity because I only have one, but now that we have this one, let's check out the cards here. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, baby. 
Oh, the color. Oh, oh. dude. Those cards, that was so worth opening. I was always wondering what the cards were. We have the old school Nick logo there. And I think all of the cards, yeah, we have old school Nick logo for the Joker. And then character cards, but the color scheme is so freaking sweet. Oh, we got Cat Dog, Angelica, Rocco. So all of the, uh, like the key cards, the King, the Queen, the Ace, those are all gonna be themed to characters. That is amazing. That is a really cool set though. Oh man, that's sick. That is an amazing set of cards. Oh. And it's like all the classic shows. And then that classic uh, campfire logo is just amazing too. Okay, definitely was worth opening. I think this came from a camping set too. Like the whole theme of the box was camping. So that's a perfect fit. I really, I always wanted to open it in that video, like I said, but I just wanted to keep them sealed, but I'm so glad now I got to open them up. We will be adding that to the board game because these will be cards that we use. If we need cards, we got these ones. And this right here, the Runaway Reptar Notebook. So this is a really, Really sick notebook because when you open it up it actually has a VHS on the inside there just a really clean look there that's such a sick display on its side you know yeah okay and that's the end oh you know oh and we got some cupcake protectors mm -hmm. our cupcake holders protectors holders however you want to look at that <laughs> it does protect your cupcakes but you also use it to hold your cupcakes you get what I mean <laughs> okay cupcake liners cupcake liners okay there's some other third thing <laughs> there you go. so on that note thank you so much again to David and Anna Lee or Anna Lai. I hope I got the names right again but nonetheless thank you so much much love from me to you and from the rep pack as well I know that this video made so many people's days just like for you guys how you said in your letter that are the videos are able to alleviate your stress you just did that for so many people I just kind of was to hear you know to say thank you and to facilitate what things were going on but reality is you guys brought this video to the people so thank you so much and again make sure you guys show them some love down below in the comments and stay tuned we're gonna add some of this stuff to the collection we gotta label it first but before that even get it So we have a bunch of stuff on the table here. We are gonna be adding all of this stuff has their labels. You can see David and Emily. And then we also have it on this one. We have it on the album here. We have it over here. We have it on a bunch of the different stuff. So we're gonna start adding some of this stuff to the collection. And this is of course some stuff that we already have on display like this one. We're gonna be putting in the vault. I like to kind of treat this place like a museum a little bit. Of course, some stuff we have on the venue all the time for the filming aspect, but some stuff we preserve it in the vault to a later date to when we have the perfect time to display it or just have it in safekeeping. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and start adding this stuff in. Okay, so a new great addition we are at. Look at it, <laughs> it just look good, the same thing in both of them. <laughs> Let's go ahead and add him right here. Boom, so we have a bunch of little Patrick ones. I need to get more of these little Squidward vintage ones, but I, I assume there probably is more Patrick ones than Squidward. And then of course, we're gonna put the SpongeBob one. We have them right here again, sealed, but we do need to add that one right there, the other old school one. And I don't know if there's any other of these like old school molds for them, but I would love to get some more over here too. I'm just, as we get these green little molds, I'm adding them right here. And for our treasure SpongeBob, I put them right here. It turns out the light stays on, it doesn't like, actually actually work if you hit the button on and off. So I decided to keep it out here on our little treasure podium. I have a few different treasure chests there and he's got plenty of pirates to protect that treasure. This, this ball is way cooler than this ball when it comes to using it for the basketball hoop here. Yeah, see, look, he doesn't even go in the hoop. This one's way bigger, way cooler. So that real regular looking NBA official yellow basketball can get out of here and boom, we got the sponge ball ready to go. Okay, and for the lush Krabby Patty, I love the packaging like this. It looks like a literal like Big Mac box for the Krusty Krab. So because of that, I'm actually gonna add this up here to our Galay Grub, which I, you know, it's very untypical for me to add anything up here. I like the way it is so much, but I think that's a perfect little representation right there to kind of just, you know, fill in this little piece. You got the recipe there. We got the crusty crab. We got the chum bucket there. We even have the kitty meal back there, which you cannot really see at this point, but it is back there. So I love to add that piece on there, a little uh, Krabby Patty box. Okay, and as with everything in Squidward's life, it gets consumed by SpongeBob slowly. On 
on the left, you'll see all of our pineapples. And over there on the right is our little Squidward section of his house. And because that Squidward pineapple cologne has him on there, it's going in his house area. So I wanted to add the pineapples to the pineapples, but it's Squidward, so we're putting it right there. So for these guys right here, this one I tried to put on display and I explained what happened. This one right here, I do already have this one on display, so I want to keep this one in the box. I'm so hyped to have this because I think this is one of the coolest items that the Nick box ever released. So that's going to be going in the vault preserved. And this one right here, I actually do want to hang this in my kitchen just because I love the way that it looks. But the frame on this one did get it a little bit damaged up within the shipping process. So until I can get a new frame for it, I'm just going to go ahead and put it in the vault. But I do think it is an amazing poster and it probably will make me want to eat pizza even more than I already do. And we did have some space in the background here behind the Chucky and Tommy on Spike. So I went ahead and added them back here. You know, what am, what am I doing with all this extra background space? You know, my Maximus mindset couldn't allow that for too long. So I see some room behind you, Tommy. Pack something back there eventually. <laughs> all right, and Spike is going up there with Baby Jaguar. All right, what better place for slime than the slime shelf? And if it was any other color, I don't know if it would fit back here. Oh, I guess that's not true. This other color is up there. But the orange fits in perfectly with the shelf and also the green slime we already have there so that's going in there and the gat container is going right here oozing its way out so our spongebob cards are going right there next to the rubik's cube and then these cards are going to be going down here with the rest of our board games in case we actually need some uh some cards for playing we actually have some down there but those aren't open so these are so we have all the files done and the paramount plus side is on this side and the good burger 2 side of the good burger hats is inside of this and all the lush branded stuff is inside of here and we have squidward the other side and Patrick in the middle. Tried to make it a little neat package for all three of them. And the Nick Zone stickers, although they're upside down, are right here inside of our folder. And trust me guys, we have done some work on the files. I know you guys want to see a file video part two, which eventually that will happen down the line. That's definitely a video that kind of is really kind of lives in the core audience of comfort cartoons. Those videos don't necessarily do that well all the time because it is kind of us just going through all this stuff that we know about, you know? So if you guys want to see that video, let me know. We'll definitely do it. But when that video comes out, hit the like button, comment because I'm doing it just for you guys. Cause it's definitely something I could probably just do off camera, but I know some of you guys do love seeing that stuff so I do want to make that video as time goes on and the TMNT comic book that was released at the movie I need to get some bags and boards to go with these comics because this is not gonna be a good long-term solution for this one thankfully a lot of the other ones we had did already come with them on it so I have it in there with all the other comic books though so I'm gonna flip the pages and then close it so that way it doesn't get bent up by these rings here and Hunter completely approves on the filing system he wants to go inside though because it's cold so for the Nickelodeon Universe, American Dream Mall, Snow Globe, that is going right. I am so glad that thing got here safe. It is unbelievable. I am just hyped to have it here. So I'm putting it right here on our center shelf. I think it's incredible looking. Oh, we, yeah. and then we have the Comfort Cartoons Custom Snow Globe right here. And man, if we ever get to 100K on this channel, that would be a cool little addition to add next to it. So there we go. We have the Snow Globe right here on our bookshelf. So I had the Eevee, or I'm so sorry, Eevee. Pikachu. I had him right here next to little me. I, I didn't make that or had that made. Somebody sent that to me uh, and I just think it's funny. <laughs> okay, and for the Ziplocs, I added this into the kitchen. You guys can see I have a lot of like, you know, stuff that's like vintage kitchen product type stuff. That's kind of like the decor of my kitchen. I love it. So I think those look perfect right there. And I, I've temporarily held Scooby together with a cupcake here from uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> that is it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Fan Nail. If you guys did, make sure you guys leave some comments down below showing some love to David and Emily. Or Emily, I'm hoping I got your name right or close at least. Thank you so much again. So show them some love in the comments down below because we couldn't do this video without them. And if you guys want us to send any mail in, the address is on screen. And again, you never have to send anything huge. We check out every single letter, fan art, whatever you send. We're going to love it. And we just love interacting with you guys. So thank you so much for being a part of it. The, again, the address, the PO box is on screen. Screen. Subscribe if you guys are new here, hit the like button, all that great stuff. And if you want to support the show further, we do have a Patreon where you can sign up for only $2 a month and you'll get an extended version of this video as well as every other video I upload ad free as well. You'll get invited to a Discord where you can hang out and talk with all the different people in this community. So all that information will be in the description. And if you want to see me live, you can check out the Whatnot stream that I do every single Friday. If you guys don't know what Whatnot is already, it's an amazing buying and selling platform. Basically, 
eBay and Twitch get together, they have a baby, and that's basically whatnot. And with whatnot, you can buy all the stuff that we love on this channel. Funko Pops, Pokemon cards, you name it. But not just that, when you sign up, you get $15 for free to use that to buy whatever you want. There's some amazing deals on there. It's a really underrated platform when it comes to deals because there's so many really deals on there. I recommend you go check it out. But on that note, I'll see you guys in this video over here that I know you're gonna love. And as always, Rep Pack, I'll see you beautiful people in the next video. Adios.